And by the way, since this is very important, I use the word evolution to mean the theory that all life is descended from a single common ancestor. Jesse's definition of evolution is a fallacious straw man argument. The correct definition of evolution, consistent with the scientific community, is the change in the inherited characteristics of biological populations over successive generations. Or put more simply, evolution is descent with modification. Jesse's definition of evolution is not only a straw man fallacy because it is not what evolutionary biologists mean by evolution, but it's also a straw man fallacy because it allows Jesse to be able to set up a very weak version of evolution that makes it extremely easy for him to knock down. You see, his definition of evolution is very important, as he himself stated, as it allows him to reject evolution as not only being wrong, but having no evidence at all. This is because on Jesse's straw man definition, it allows him to do three things. When evolution is falsely defined as the theory that all life is descended from a single common ancestor, Jesse can then, if he wants, say evolution is not science because it is unobserved and can't be repeated or tested. Because we can't observe or repeat evolution from a single common ancestor to modern taxonomy in real time. Second, it allows him to reject what even many creationists accept as being true, which is microevolution. And most importantly, under his self-serving definition, any evidence you give for evolution, Jesse can dishonestly dismiss wholesale as not being evidence for common ancestry, but rather just as much simply evidence for a common designer. This is a common dishonest creationist slash intelligent design tactic to redefine words to their advantage, like they do with the definition of information or of what kinds mean. Jesse, you don't get to define evolution the way you want. If you are to be honest and really take on evolution and refute it, you must adhere to the scientific community's understood definition of evolution. Otherwise, all your constant and vehement efforts to attack evolution can be dismissed as fallacious.